Yo, what's going on guys, Professor here, back again with another video. I just hit top 10k in the world guys, so yeah, I'm currently 9836 in the entire world with this fast cycle 2.5 minor, yeah, minor Warbreakers bad cycle deck. And yeah, if you guys did enjoy the video, please make sure to like and sub, and I'll see you guys in the first game. On the first game here, I'm up against Saint Nicola, so let's see what he's playing. He has like, um... Pix Fireball Banner and Zappy's Banner. I guess if I don't remember that was Zappy's as well. So he should be like should be running Fireball Bait. Maybe I'm wrong, but yeah, let's see. Let's go for the Bass of the Bag and then Mother. And he goes Mother Witch. Oh, I really don't want to see that card when I'm playing that this deck, bro. Like this is literally like my first game as well with this deck, and I go against Mother Witch. Con <laughs> coincidence? I don't think so. So yeah. By the way, guys, in deck we're running this 2.5 Fast Cycle Minor Minor Warbreakers deck, not Minor Poison, Minor Warbreakers deck with the Evo Zap. Actually, Evo Zap is really, really good with the when it's paired up with Warbreakers and also Minor because it is gonna. It also pairs really well with the Log. Like uh, Evo Zap combo plus Log kills a lot of cards such as like Mother Witch, um, Magic Archer. Um, let me see what else. I guess it also kills the E Wiz, uh, Ice Wiz, and stuff like that. So it's like really good combo, and uh, yeah, also it pairs up really well, as I said, with the Miner, and also like when you go for like, I would say Spear Goblins or Warbreakers, and then instantly Miner when the tower is locked onto the Warbreaker, or for like Spear Goblins and stuff, you can just put the Zap, and then the target is uh, the Miner, sorry, the, bro, why am I starting, okay, the tower is going to retarget to the Miner, and you're going to just get damage, so... Uh, I'm gonna I'm just go for the bats here and then I'm gonna play my Knight of the Bridge. Don't wanna give him like a, again another insane Mother Witch value and then I'm gonna predict the Mother Witch uh not predict, just play the miner on top of it, and then I'm gonna zap it as well. So it dies as quick as possible. Okay. So he he does have zappies, he does have Mother Witch and Flying Machine and Picks and Mega Knight. Interesting. I guess he's running Mega Knight instead of recruits. But let's see. Should be pretty much I would say I don't say it's gonna be an easy matchup, but because of the bomb tower, I would say it's, it is going to be like easy matchup, I guess. We can win this if we play better. So, he's going to go Mega Knight at the back. I, I'm going to just go for my... Hmm, I can't, I'm going to go for the bomb tower and then... I want to go wall because of the opposite lane, but I want to defend over here. I'm going to just go for the miner and then zap to resist the... Uh, yeah, there is, to resist that thing, flying machine. So, I'm going to go for the log here. And the bomb tower should clutch this up. Bomb tower is locked onto the Mega Knight, unfortunately. So I have to play my bets on top of these. Um, wow, that was really aggressive at his end. He's gonna fireball. What did he fireball exactly? I thought he fireballed the bats, but he fireballed like nothing. <laughs> okay. Let's go for the evil Warbreakers now at the opposite lane. So we got dual lane pressure going on. Let's go for the Mega Knight, as, uh, I mean, bats as well. And then he's gonna go Mega Knight. So we got some really nice damage at the bow lanes. And also, bats are damaging down that Mega Knight super nicely. So we're just gonna, for, we're just gonna go for the Knight. And also for the Tower Troop, we're running uh, Kanir, guys, because Kanir deals a lot of damage. And we don't have a card in the deck that uh, deals like too much damage. So yeah, because of that Mega, uh, not Mega Knight, sorry, the Cannon here is the best Tower Troop for this deck. So we go for the bomb tower, and then I want to play my bats on top of that flying machine, but he's going to just go Mother Witch, yep, there it is, I predicted it. I should go for this, so the Mother Witch uh, locks on to the knight, we're going to zap, everything dies, yo, zap is so good in this deck. Okay, let's see, let's go for the miner, just to get some damage, really bad barber at his end, and then I'm going to just go for the spear goblins, oh, I forgot that I'm running Cannoneer, for a second I forgot that I'm running Cannoneer, and... Yeah, those spear guns were not like a good play. I thought the yeah flying machine is gonna get a couple of shots because uh, on the prince tower it gets a lot of damage even though if it has like a little bit of help. So we go for the miner. He goes for the barbarians. It's all okay. I'm gonna just go for my. Oh, I am in. A, I'm in a big trouble right now. I'm gonna go for this and then log. He's gonna go pigs, right? Hello, play something, bro. What? Are you... What? Bro, he lost. He lost, bro. That's gonna be Zap Log, yeah. As I go for the Spear Goblins, though. And then just the Knight and Log, and that's going to be game over. So, really nice turn over there against, yeah, MK, MK Bait. And I'll see you guys in the next game. On second game here, I'm up against Danny. So, let's see what he's playing. So, he's gonna go for the and sense of good luck. I'm gonna just go for my Bats at the back, and then I'm gonna just play my Miner. Mm, yeah, I'm gonna at the back of his tower. I don't know if he's if he does have uh, NATO or not, but he got the heal spirits and the mega minion. Let's go for the war because at the back it should be some sort of giant. That yeah, bomber. Yeah, it's gonna be definitely giant. Yep, there it is. I guess he's running giant prince with with fireball rage, uh, heal spirit, bomber, mega minion, and yeah, a bunch of stuff like that. So let's go for the bats. 
to take down that Mega Minion ASAP. And then I'm gonna... Hmm... I wanna go for the Warbreakers, but... I wanna wait. He got the Evo Knight, okay. So... Uh, I guess I'm just wait for that knight to cross the bridge and then I'm just go for the miner and then wallbreakers to kite back the knight. And oh, forget that, bro. I'm gonna just go for the wallbreakers, spear goblins like this because he might go for rage prediction. Yep, there it is. I'm gonna go for the miner. Oh my god, auto bottom. Knight, 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 knight. Okay, we're fine, we're fine. We got one wallbreaker connection as well and some really nice damage from our miner at the other lane. So we're looking pretty good over here. So he's gonna go for the bomber. I'm not gonna log that bomber away because like I don't need to because Kanye is gonna just one shot it so I was go for the bat at the back and then I'm gonna play my wall because at the bridge like what is he going to do about this uh rage is not gonna do anything he's gonna go fireball and then knight wait one of them maybe yeah nice perfect 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 so we got some really nice damage and yeah the small wall breakers now deal less damage because they rework them so the bigger ones deal more damage and the small ones deal less damage now so yeah we got like a little bit of damage off that one but I'll still take that one so, I'll just go for the zap just to make the tower, you know, stun for a second so we get some more minor chip and we're looking good. So, I'm gonna go for the bats again, once again, then wall breakers at the bridge. I'm gonna lock prediction. Hmm. I don't want to lock prediction though, like, I wanted I wanted to play the lock, maybe I thought he's gonna go for the knight or something, so they just, they get bounced back. And the wall breakers connect, but that was kind of risky, so I didn't win for it. Let's go for the bats over here to take down that... Prince saves AP, and then I'm gonna go for the Warbreakers, and then zap the Bomber, I guess? Okay, he went for the Fireball. That's all good with me. Let's go for the Bomb Tower, and let's see, we have to defend now. Okay, so, uh, that Healer Spirit is gonna die, so Spirit Gun is all gonna take down that uh, Mega Minion as well. He's a li he, has, he has Evil Bomber as well in Cycle, so I have to be careful. Let's go for the Evil Warbreakers, just to bait out something out of him, and also, you know, pressure him, because this deck... With this deck, you guys have to defend and pressure at the same time. So, I'm going to go for the minor. Okay, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. That print, bro, Prince after its buff, it's just giving me heart attacks, bro. Every single time when I go against this card. Okay, we got one wall breaker connection as well. Uh, I just need some minor chip and, you know, just to cycle a bunch of zaps and log and I should win. I go for the minor on top of that wall bomber. Okay, at... Thank God that that heal spirit did not heal up that prince. If it, if it, <laughs> if that jump uh, on top of the prince, like if the prince was in the radius of it, I would have lost the game like instantly. But we're fine, we're fine. So he's gonna go giant. Pretty sure he's gonna make a minion as well with this. Uh, yeah, there it is. We just go for the bats. He's not back to the evil bomber, so we're fine. Let's go for the spear goblins and then knight and then I mean yeah, spear goblins knight and then minor on top of that uh, bomb bomber. Please kill it. Thank you very much. So, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine with that one. Uh, okay, the Mega Minion is gonna also die. I'll just cycle my log over here just to get some damage, and then bats, and then... I'm gonna go for the Spear Gun. It's not gonna play my Warbreakers for now. Uh, see what he's going to do. I'm gonna just go for the Bomb Tower. He's gonna go Giant. He is back to the Evil Bomber now, if I don't be wrong. I'll just go for the Miner. He's gonna catch it. Okay, good catch at this end. I accidentally played the Zap. Oops, I want to play Spear Gun, but I played the Zap. Let's go for the miner. Oh my gosh, this is kind of scary. Not gonna lie, I really, I'm really scared of these type of prince pushes. When the prince is on one HP and everything else is on one HP, they are like the most scary pushes of all time for me. Let's go for the miner. He's gonna go for the. Oh no, that heal spirit is uh, gonna heal that bomber up, so it's gonna land a shot on my tower, which is gonna bounce twice. But I'm gonna just go for the zap log, and then I need one more. Yo, the log is enough. Yeah, let's go. We'll take the win, and I'll see you guys in the next game. On the last game here, I'm up against a Loco Mondo, so let's see what he's playing. By the way, guys, if I'm talking too quickly, sorry about that. I'm gonna just try to, you know, I'm gonna try to slow it down this then this matchup. So, <clears throat> okay, let's see. Sorry about that. Uh, sorry about that one as well. Let's go for the Spear Goblins and then log the Hog Rider. Shut the. Oh my God. Okay, it died. It got only one hit. We're fine. Seems like we're going against 2.6. Log is out of hand. Wait, I'm gonna predict the skeletons now. Back skeletons. Okay, wait. Ah, uh, he went for this. Ice Spirit as well. I thought he was going to just go with Skellies and then let it go, but he went for the Ice Spirit as well just to be safe, and because of that, we got only one hit, but it's all good. We'll take that one. So, 2.6. Hmm, I don't really know how this matchup is going to go. I just have to keep up the pressure, like, like, I just have to pressure, pressure, pressure in this matchup because 
If I play defensive, I just basically can't win, so. And the reason why I went minor bats over there was because he did not have uh, ice spirit in, in cycle, so he couldn't just uh, cycle, uh, kill the bats with just an ice spirit. And because of that, he played 6 elixir. So that was a good play of mine. So let's go for the log, and then I'm gonna just cycle my zap just to cycle back to bomb tower because I'm pretty sure he's gonna just spam another hog right at me. Yep, there it is. So we're fine over here on defense. Overall, we're doing pretty well. So how am I supposed to break through? I I need like a, a bats connection, like minor bats connection or minor spear goblins or minor wall breakers. Just one connection to win the game. Uh, okay, let's see. Let's go for the. I guess I'm gonna just minor his tower. What is he doing? What was that? <laughs> okay, I guess he. I guess he wanted to go like hogs, hog with the ice golem, but he missed that one. I guess I'll just go for my knight over here and let it go. I guess, yeah. I didn't want to play my ice gold, uh, my my bomb tower. So, his uh, I'm gonna go for this and I'm gonna prediction zap the skellies again because he does not have log in hand. He went for cannon. It's all good with me. I'll just take that. Uh, yeah, zap damage. Let's go for the spear goblins now, and then I'll just go for my he's gonna ice golem. I just minor his tower just to get some chip damage. He's gonna go for the hog rider. We're just gonna go bomb tower on top of that. He's gonna log as well. Okay, I'm gonna go for this. He's gonna. I'm pretty sure he's gonna go cannon. So I just cycle my bats at the back, and then spear goblins at the bridge because he does not have log in hand. I'm gonna just go for the miner. Zap those skeletons. To retarget the tower as well for the miner, even though it was on the miner. Okay, we got some really nice damage. I'm gonna go for this and then I wanna go log prediction on top of the skellies, but it's kinda risky because yeah, he's gonna just go cannon. So we got the damage back, so we're looking pretty much fine. I just have to defend perfectly from now on. Like I don't have to let him get any hog damage, even though I'm pretty sure that I can because he can easily outcycle me, unfortunately, even though I have faster cycle than him. Like I have 2.5 cycle and he has 2.6. So even though because even though I have faster cycle, but he can still off cycle me. Like look at this guys, he's already back to another uh yeah, ice golem hog. When I was like one card away from my bomb tower. Wait, I'm gonna go zap. Hold up, that's gonna be some really nice damage for me. Okay, let's go, nice. Let's go for the spear goblins now. And then oh no, he's already back to another. Oh my god, I hate this. I'm gonna log. Yo, the spear goblins damage. Hold up. Yeah. What is he do? Okay, hold up. He lost, he lost, he lost, guys. I'm gonna just go for the Evo's Evo uh yeah, Evo zap. And the miner, bro. Miner. Let's go. He missed the log as well. Yeah, miner's gonna take down the tower. Really nice. And over there, and thank you very much for watching the video, guys. And if you guys enjoyed the video, please make sure to like and sub. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.